showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up YouTube, Capital G here, talking more Primal Origins in this video, and I'm talking about the Dark World monster we all knew was coming. I wasn't quite sure what to make of new Dark World support, like I felt like it was either going to be completely ass or just completely broken and nothing in the middle, like just one end of each spectrum. I felt like there wasn't going to be any middle ground, and I look at this card and I'm like, okay, I am pleasantly surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm completely satisfied because I feel like this is a significant upgrade over what we already have for the archetype. It's called Lucent, Netherlord of the Dark World. It's a level 6 Dark Fiend, 2400 attack, 0 defense. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, special summon it from the graveyard. Then, if it was discarded from the hand to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one Fiend type monster from your deck to either side of the field. Okay, so um, what I like about this card is it's not broken and it's not awful. It's just really good and it's a significant upgrade for the deck. First things first, when you discard it, it basically just summons itself a la silver and gold. The difference being it has 100 more attack, which throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history has been relevant. I mean, I remember way back in the day, my first regional ever, you know, I lost to a Monarch deck simply because I couldn't get over the Monarchs and I couldn't even clash with them. But now you can clash with those monarchs, you can clash with Sasano O, and you can get over something like Gear Giant X. So, you know, and with Gates on board, it gets to a pretty hefty 2700. That's definitely nothing to sneeze at. And the second effect is obviously incredible, although unreliable. I mean, just like all the Dark World monsters are for the most part, you know, if you ever get that effect off, I mean, I could just imagine summoning a Grapha straight from the deck. I mean, that's pretty fucking boss. The problem is, I don't see that ever happening. Now, the real greatness in Lucian would generally be the downfall of most cards. And what I'm talking about is it's zero defense, and I'll tell you why. Now, Dark Worlds have two monsters with zero defense, and um, Recurring Nightmare is starting to look pretty legit in this deck. And it's an auto plus one that gets you your Dark World monsters back. But, you know, it also creates kind of like a soft loop with Dark Smog and Grapha. You can just continually bounce Lucian every single turn. Banishing monsters from your opponent's graveyard, and then if they kill Grapha, you just summon it and then, you know, bounce the Lucian to your hand, summon Grapha right back. So, and, you know, I kind of had this crazy idea. You guys let me know if I'm just off my rocker. Uh, maybe even splashing in a couple of mass chameleons into the deck for, you know, like one card Leo, one card Stardust. That'd be pretty legit also. So, overall, I look at this card and I'm like, you're just a complete upgrade over the old level fives. Like, that 100 attack difference makes a huge difference in the game right now. I don't want to have to clash with a Gear Giant X. I want to be able to run its little ass over and still have a monster on board. And then, you know, oddly enough, it having zero defense actually opens up a lot of options for the deck. I mean, if you're running three snow, which you always are going to run, and then you run two of these, Recurring Nightmare seems pretty stable in the deck. Even if it's just a one of, when you get it off and get your snows back, that's going to be pretty nutty. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Lucian is a good card? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I think that the card is good. I think it opens up more options, and it's obviously an upgrade over some of the old cards. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Subscribing makes life happy.